Alex Navarro, Abby Russell. Vinny Caravella. Hello, Vinny. Welcome back to the wonderful world of Warhammer. 40,000. 40,000 years later, here we are. 40,000 games later, Warhammer continues. And that's just this year. That's just a uh, calendar year, yep. uh, wow. Q2. Uh, it's been a hell of a year for Warhammer. It's been a hell of a year for Warhammer. This is uh, Warhammer 40k Gladius. Yes. Gladius? Gladius, let's go with? Take your pick. Uh, Relics of War. They yes. just put a bunch of the, the names in there for Warhammer. That is several words. Now, some people might describe this as a 4X game. Would you? No. Okay. I would just, and I would say this is a pretty good game. It is $40. I'm playing here on Steam. I'm just going to start a new game. What's a, new a 4X game? game? Uh, usually a 4X game has, well, Alex could probably speak to it, but it's four victory conditions usually. Oh. Yeah, but the, the, the basic, like the genre equivalent would be like a civilization yeah. game. Gotcha. Uh, so here we go. You have your Space Marines. Yes. Space Marines. Space Marines, your Warhammer uh, suit, your stock, your what you're going to start everything from. Space Marines. You can also pick, uh, here, let's just go in here. Your Necrons, your undead, your, oh, yeah. zo your robot zombies, if you will. They're very interesting lore behind them, but yeah, uh, that is let's just let's just, zombies. let's just reduce it to robot zombies. Got okay. it. You got your orcs, your belligerent uh, 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 antagonist. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, let's uh, reduce it to that, but they are also very interesting. They are basically a fungus. Uh, and they, yeah, they have spores that come. Uh, and you have your, your kind of general soldier types. These mm -hmm. are not space marines where they are the elites of the elites. These are your everyday, the billions who go on fighting for the uh, emperor. Okay, so it's basically guys in tanks and stuff like that. Uh, where space marines are giant dudes with chainsaw swords. Uh -huh. So those are your four factions. The developer has said that they will add factions as they go on. There are some things that are missing, which are, are not included in this game. Also Warhammer staples that are not in here. All right. Uh, each faction has a bonus uh, or they have, you know, um, traits, mm -hmm. right? Which will help you out. Uh, we're going to start a space marine set. So this is what I'm picking my AI here. So I'm just actually going to pick random. And we're going to play as space marine. That sounds sensible. Uh, I've got all the default map settings here. Okay. But if you want to go get silly with it. Let's say that I do. <laughs> uh, you can get it. I'm going to turn the Lord of Skulls off. He won't show up during this brief little encounter. Lord, Lord of Skulls is a piece of TLC. I didn't realize I had turned on when I started playing my game. Lord of Skulls sucks. Yeah, you made it sound like Lord of Skulls made your game not Lord fun. Lord of Skulls is basically a gigantic thing that will come attack your base. And then while you're in the middle of a battle, be like, what the fuck, man? This thing is like unstoppable. The man needs a skulls. Yeah. He wants to know where skulls are a, at. It's a big robot. You'll probably see it when I load my safe. Anyway, this, these are the advanced options. You can see there are plenty if you want to get in here and really yeah, get Yeah, I think I need to adjust my river density. Yes. Uh, that's very <laughs> important to my game. You should go see a doctor. Some of these are, are, are I understand some of mm -hmm. these, and some of these are, are things that okay. I don't, I'm not really going to. Well, take me to the part that you do understand. Well, I'll go back to the basic. All right. uh, we're gonna keep it on standard uh, pace, standard two, and we're just gonna start it up. Actually, you know what? Let's put the pace fast. Uh, very fast. Very fast. That's Ooh. very fast. I'm not sure how fast this actually goes. Very fast. Yeah, very fast. And you can add up to like three more of these if you want, but I'm not going to. Let's just. But there's only in. four factions right now, as it is, right? Yeah. So like, you can also get rid of them, right? Yes. You could have just yes. like you and. Just one would you just be adding doubles at that point? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, four factions is not a lot for a, a game of this type. So we're going to get a little intro movie for the Space Marines. Right. Each faction gets a little intro movie, which is neat. But uh, the lore is very light here. I mean, it's, yeah. Uh, Warhammer lore, pretty dense. Mm -hmm. The setup for this, pretty light. Okay. <laughs> Basically, and, and they bend stuff to make things make sense. They want to get you Red into the 4 X and as soon as possible. Like I said, maybe knock three You'll of those X's colonized. off. All right. Into Exxon. Yeah. Suitable base for our chapter to Look at those rebuild weird dogs. Yeah. and recruit. That's No Man's Sky. We space marines raised our fortress here. I do like the mix of like Grew weird medieval yeah. brutalism space with gothic. space. Yeah, space gothic. But like the orc invasion brought a warp storm that cut off our emperor's light. And the dread necrons crawled from the earth beneath our feet. War was on all sides, yet we are the Emperor's Honest to God, one of the things that I think that has kept me away from Warhammer is just how boxy the Space Marines are. Really? Yeah, they're, just, they're too, the too cube-like. I got some other races you can play. All right. I feel like they look like thumb thumbs. Totally. 
We know no fear. Is that is the is the triangle thing talking? Nah, it's an alien relic. All right. Okay. Uh, so you're playing as, a, or here I'm playing as the Space Marines, the Emperor's just, uh, Elite Chosen. I feel like I'm giving a Warhammer demo. <laughs> uh, so here you'll be playing as the Space Marines, the Warhammer's Elite Chosen. All right, I can already see what's going on here. I see your top menu there. You've yeah. got your different resources. Uh, you've got your two starting units yes. here. Can you zoom in? So yes. you got a starting base. Oh. Hello. So, okay. Are there oh, humans I'm Warhammer. underneath the armor, or are they like robots? No, they're humans. Okay. Uh, they're okay. genetically modified, quote unquote, humans. Uh, they they have a uh, you know some don't you say air quote me <laughs> they've uh, transcended human uh, are are they Homo sapien I don't know are they human or are they dancer I I think they're more dancer okay okay uh, play some music let's see in Buster Uh they are not tiny dancers oh, uh, oh they're big dancers close space marine okay so you can see you can see the hex grid yes right uh, I see hexes you see hexes let's just build a base so space marines build their city. Uh, and I'm gonna build it. Oh, let's just build here. Pow pow! And this will deploy the city. And now I'm gonna expand from the city. Okay. So I start picking places that have resources or the things I want. Uh, your economy based off of requisition for uh, uh, basically building units, uh, power, uh, research to get you uh, your tech. You also build units with it. Ooh, mm -hmm. I went too far. Sorry, I was looking at you, Alex. <laughs> Uh, and influence. Uh, again, it's a resource for building units. Okay. There is a tech tree. We're gonna get there there in a second. But I can uh, expand out my base to try and get more of one of those things. Or so you aren't building things. multiple cities. You're just expanding out from for this city. For the space marine. For the space marine. So that's why, again, for a 4X game, this plays a lot more like a traditional RTS game with mm -hmm. very different factions. That is turn based. Right. It's almost like the original Dawn of War games. Uh, let's just build here. Uh, we're going to stick in this save for a little bit, then I'll load up my other save. Uh, I take my unit, I move them. And it, it, it reveals the fog of war. Yep. Take my unit. You can see I've got, uh, I can move three spaces and I can attack once. So I take my unit, move them, reveal the fog of war. My uh, turn is almost over. I'm going to choose my research, which is going to be the, um, that's hero units, the armory. So are these all geared toward militarism since this is inherently a, a combat? Warhammer in the grim dark future of yeah. Warhammer, there's not a lot of diplomacy. Yeah, and there's not much need for technology that isn't about fucking wiping your enemies from the face of the map. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, yes. So it is all about building the biggest guns. Right. There, we are not trying to leave this pl planet. Okay. We are trying to dominate it. Okay. So I would say so far I've seen two X's. One be exterminate all the other players. The second X being there are in-game um, milestones mm -hmm. that you can achieve. And I think if you achieve those, you can also get a victory condition. That's more, but there's a, there is expansion. You are expanding. Yes, you are building. And you need to expand because you have population limits right. and stuff like that. So when I first started playing on my monitor at home, I did not see this on the side here. Yeah, you and thought so, that was just th tier, uh, three, tier three? Tier three. All right. And then I was like, boy, I really just I nailed all these research things. But this game is still pretty hard. Did not realize this goes on yeah, for... Yeah, that's oh, a little oh. more what yeah. I would expect. Uh, okay, so we, we chose our research. Uh, this game is also streamlined. If this is your for, first quote-unquote 4X game, which I was kind of... It, it sounds like we're at to about 2Xs now. Uh, it's a good entry. So you can clear these notifications. You can kind of see it's telling you what happened. Wire weed. Wire weed sucks. You don't want to put that in your pipe and smoke it. If you stand in it, you'll take damage. Uh-oh. So let's just clear the notifications and end the turn. Now it's the end. Very civ like is the end of his turn. The music all is so intense. Yeah. yeah, it's war. Hammer. Uh, and this is kind of the lore the Space Marines get with their milestones. Okay. So hey, this is our home chapter planet. A warp storm came. Orcs came. Bad stuff is happening. Why is all this bad stuff always happened to me? I don't know because I'm a Space Marine. So. We can go take our unit and do a little more exploring. Uh, let's go check out what's over here. Ooh, there's some space dogs. Are your space dogs? Are they not your friends? No. Okay. Uh, let's take some shots at the space dogs. Crew towns. So, uh, shot a few of those. Yeah, shot a few. There's that damn wire weed. I'll tell you, boy. That Seems stuff, like you can get pretty close to the battle there. That stuff sucks. There's a lot of nice features here. Uh, one is when you're within range. Uh, if you have a unit selected and you're within firing range, things will turn red. Right, you're not in firing not. range there. If I hold down the right mouse button, it shows you kind of where you need, to, where it wants you to right. go. And then if I just release it here, it'll cue up that that 
unit to move there. It'll and do fire. what you want it to do. So I'm going to do that um, and say, okay, next turn, let's go. Are uh, they both going to descend on your unit? Uh, they probably will. Space okay. Marines are pretty tough against dogs. So okay. is that little cliff, is that like, can you pass through that or is that just kind of for flavor for the land? I think it's, uh, I don't think I can jump down here. Yeah, okay. it looks like there is like a to terrain. Go, yeah, I'm going to have to go. Okay. Yeah, and as you hover over each hex, you can kind of see what the terrain is. Okay. Savannah, rocks with the crew towns. What's on each tile, basically. Okay. Got it. Uh, do you get different like boosts? I know you, that you, you can have the negative for the weird weed. You but. do, yeah. Like forests give you some cover. The weed uh, fucks you up. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there are, like, you walk quicker over grassland. Okay, cool. So let's go to the city. We're expanding. We did a bit. Let's start building a thing to get ourselves more troops. Um, we're going to build here. And so each hex, or at least uh, some of the hexes, will allow you to build multiple things. You can see these little hexes here. Yeah. So I'm going to build my infantry generator, my, what was it called in Warhammer terms? Apothecarian. <laughs> yes, I will instruct my Apothecarian. It's my within, favorite gothic metal band. Uh, within one of these slots here. And this kind of reminded me a bit of Endless Legend. I think Civ kind of took on this expand the base thing too, didn't it? They they added neighborhoods, which you could like, you, you, you could create specialties within those zones, like science here or in, in, in industry here. So they kind of get a reaction shot, which is nice. Uh, they entered too close, and I, I took my reaction shot. That guy's running away. Go, idiots. Uh, they're circling around. They're going to battle me. Oh, shit. That's fine. So here's a neat thing about this game. and I, I haven't played too many 4X games recently, mm -hmm. so I'm not sure how much of this has been in other games. But if we click on our Space Marines here, yes. if I hover over this unit, it'll give me the estimated casualties on the left there. So it'll say, okay, crew towns, uh, we're estimating you'll kill three out of five of these. You're going to do five points of damage, uh, and they have a total of, you know, let's say they have 10 points of damage. But that's an estimate, right? Like, it's not a guarantee. Usually it's pretty close. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then if I actually, if I hold down alt on the keyboard, it shows me, okay, but if they attack me, ah. what would, well, how much damage would I take? So you can kind of look at what the attrition factor would be here gotcha. in terms of, okay, is this a risk worth taking? That makes sense. And I think it is. And so the same thing over here, we click on them, uh, and they can't attack me from there. So when I hold down alt, uh, I got nothing. So let's attack them. Let's attack them. And that's the simultaneous turn stuff. Okay. That was one of the options in, in making this. So thing. these dogs are unaffiliated, right? Like these are just they things are, that are running, yeah, roaming the map. Random, okay. random monsters. Uh, let's clear the notifications out again. Uh, and I'll just end the turn. You can control space to end the turn. Very useful. Or space bar. They're like, fuck this. Yeah, we are out of here. Uh, so the armory's built. You mean your apothecarian? <laughs> uh, no, sorry. The armory is researched. Oh, okay. Uh, the apothecarian is not built yet. Uh, so let's order the next units. We're going to go chase those dogs down. Okay. These are... Um, oh, those are unaffiliated guys, too. Mm, that seems weird. Are they like turrets? What are they? They're those? tech priests. Uh, so I'm going to hang out here. Another neat thing is your health. Um, you can see I'm 13 or 15 damage. Mm -hmm. uh, for the Space Marines, I can hold this position until I heal up. That's a save thing. Okay, yeah. You just yeah. kind of sit and wait. Yep. And it'll skip this unit until they go. Gotcha. Uh, other units, like I played the Necrons. They have some different abilities. Uh, let's move over here. What is that? So that is kind of a, a resource out in the wild. Okay. So do you want to start expanding in that direction? No. I'll show you. Uh, let me choose my next research here. I'll go back. You like collect it like meld? You kind of hold it. Okay. So I can oh. hold it with my troops. Uh, let's get the frag grenades. Very useful. And that's going to do it for this Weird turn. that they got this far into space without having frag grenades. <laughs> uh, there's a bit of backstory. Mm -hmm. You were kind of decimated by this um, orc invasion. Okay. And so you're kind of on your heels already. But you would still also think that you would have grenades. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, saying the fiction makes no sense, Vinny. <laughs> uh, th that is, I will not argue with that. <laughs> so I have to go over here. I'm going to land on it. And then a little wall is going to pop up. Land down on it. So now I kind of have this resource. I can also, for a lot of influence, uh, or a decent amount of influence, I can uh, drop this fortress, which is basically a guard tower. Okay. Uh, and let's just put it here. Again, these are all space marine things. Mm -hmm. uh, great. Thank you. Uh, this is one of my milestones, was generate 20 requisitions per turn. Uh, and let's just shoot these dogs. Again, I can kind of see when I click on them, I'm going to kill them. Get them. 
dogs are gone. Uh, more dogs up here. And let's go to the city and let's build, I don't know, let's get more. What are we slowest on here? It looks like power. Uh, but that's a rec plus 10 to requisition. So let's do a thing that gets requisition. I think the thing I haven't quite figured out yet uh, yeah, ask me is just kind of like what you're doing with those things once you've built them. The, the pieces of the city? Yeah. Let me show you. Uh, Abby, can I get a little less gameplay? Yes. The music is very dramatic, <laughs> to be fair. Uh, this is a random robot. He kind of sucks as well. All right, so your question is what what are these things doing? Yeah. So the expansion, expanding the city, not only does it get you, as you might expect from Civ, the resources in that tile. Right. So, you know, you get these resources. Mm -hmm. uh, the bonuses that are in it apply to the things you, sorry, to the things you build in it, as I understand it. Right. So within here, I've got two slots to build in, this slot and this slot. Usually there's three, maybe I'm just not seeing it. Or maybe the apothecarian's just like so big. Uh, it's, you know, maybe it's just the weird tile in the woods here. I can't yeah. hold on. Uh, so anyway, uh, you get the bonuses and then you're building your infantry barracks you're building your armories you're building your extra power plants within each hex that okay. you take over uh so i'll take over another one that gets um a decent amount of influence and then once that's built you can't just i can't just build a thing that builds vehicles right i have to build it within an empty slot in one of these tiles gotcha does that make sense yes okay are they just kind of passive bonuses where it sort of just ups your general stats or do they give you more abilities what exactly is it giving you so they're both okay. uh they some of these are passive like this uh genitorium will just generate more energy okay uh but once this uh ref refectory refectory is built. Oh, uh, sorry. Look, the apothecary in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, now I can build space marines. Oh, okay. Yeah. So now I can actively queue these guys up. They take resources, and I'll, I'll pump them out. Uh, you can also set the um, flag. What is it called? The uh, spawn point. Uh, okay. what do they always call that in RTS games. I do, I'm not yeah, an RTS player. You no. Uh, anyway, where the guys pop out. Jeez, my my brain is just kind of uh, uh, the birthplace. Yes, the birthplace. You set the birthplace. Yeah. Uh, so let's go to the next turn. Uh, let's fight these dogs. Do space dogs go to heaven? No. No, they, <laughs> okay. they, they die. But there's uh, no rule that says they can't go to heaven. Space dogs uh, go to hell. <laughs> they're going to gonna shoot, shoot the dogs too. Uh, and my little turret tower here is just going to shoot this giant robot who kind of sucks. Cool. And then I'll clear the notifications, end the turn, and we'll get attacked. And so that's kind of the basic setup. Uh, I'm exploring, trying to gain. I don't know, it's weird that these guys are not affiliated, but that's fine. I'll take it. They're trying to attack this thing. They're going to get killed. They're gonna yeah, I say that tower seems like it's reasonably strong. It's okay. It's pretty good. And now I got the frag grenades. Yay. Uh, let's go take care of these guys over here. So you have to get right next to enemies to use the frag grenades with the space marines. But the frag grenades. You would think that the range attack would be, you wouldn't have to get as you up close. You would think you could shoot from a tile away, but you have to be right next to him. But you mm -hmm. can see it does pretty good damage. I guess. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> so in that, <laughs> they're sleepy. Uh, in that case, the estimate was a little off. You yeah. have to take them all out. Uh, this thing sucks again, so let's just hit it. Uh, and let's get this guy in close and he can take I it. I do look out. like, he kind of looks like the Iron Giant. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, except we're going to fuck him up. Yeah. Superman. Uh, let's use the research. Uh, so once you uh, research two things, you can move on to the next. Mm. Uh, Salt Marines are pretty good. Why can't you pick Chaplain? Chaplain? Because uh, I haven't built the Reclusium, which is where this unit is built. Ah, oh. uh, the Reclusium. Yeah. I, I could be pronouncing all of these things incorrectly. No, you are the authority on yeah. this. Yeah. My word you invented Warhammer. We know that. Warhammer. Uh, would you say this is a challenging game? Uh, like I think yes and no. I mean, you make it challenging by mm -hmm. picking different starting units or upping the actual AI difficulty. I did not have a terrible time playing on normal okay. with with the Space Marines, but they do just outright say Space Marines is like easy mode. Okay. So that being said, I, it was okay. Uh, it, things do kind of heat up, and it was f a lot of fun. I actually do like this game a lot. Uh, I was. It's a little thin on the narrative stuff, and I kind of like the narrative stuff in right. Warhammer. But there's so many giant text boxes. There are, but it it's a little. So like, it it's 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 manufactured for the state of the game. So 
you'll run a, against other space marines who are all under the emperor, right? Right. And you'll just be like, space marines on this planet? Why are we fighting them? They're shooting at us? I guess we should just fight them. And it's like, well, no, you guys, there should be a really good reason why you guys are in, in fighting. Uh, so I don't know. It just sounds like anime to me. <laughs> yeah. I don't know bit. why this is here. Let's fight it. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna load a save so we don't have to go through the entire uh, game. To uh, get that's to probably for the best. Uh, I'll start here at turn 130. Wow. Uh, th again, I, I wasted a lot of time. I should not underestimate how much time I wasted thinking I was at the end of the tech tree. Right. <laughs> uh, so this, you can see my, wow, my city, city has grown. Everybody wants to live here. Damn, dude. It's a fantastic city. It actually looks kind of cool once you build it out. Uh, so here's my big, big city. Uh, lots of stuff going on. You can see now on the left-hand column here, I've built lots of things. Uh, and you can manage your power if sometimes you'll be in the negative because you're just not generating enough. And you can turn buildings off and on uh, pretty easily. Uh, and that's cool. And you can see I have uh, four generators, so I can turn them all off. I can turn them all on. You can stack uh, infantry building uh, places so you can build mm -hmm. more than one so they produce them quicker. Right. Uh, you don't like get to build them simultaneously. It just makes them fast. Right. All right. Uh, at least, again, for the Space Marines. So let's see what's going on. Big robot here. I'm engaged in a huge war out here with, unfortunately, two factions. These are Space Marines over here. Bad guy Space Marines. And up here, and in this turn, I don't think we've actually seen them yet, are the, oh yeah, here's one of them. The kind of army militia oh. okay. uh, of people. And I got kind of caught accidentally between two forces. Uh, and but you, they're fighting each other too, right? We're all fighting, everybody's okay. fighting everybody. Uh, the, the fucking Skull King is out there just waiting to get oh, me. You might man. see him. Uh, and this was a milestone thing. It was a special unit, the librarian. I need to bring him to a bunch of places, like basically special points on the map. Uh, so let's continue with my turn. So I've got, uh, these land speeders, which can tear up infantry, but aren't super great against, uh, vehicles. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just explore. I'm not going to play very well here. I'm just going to explore some of the map. Uh, I actually know where this all goes. So that's their piece of shit. Uh, Psyker. Good. good work. Shoot that guy. That's a hero unit. I have my own. Let's go to the next unit. More of these guys. I'm just going to go run around and shoot him. Whee! Take that. Uh, my big old predator tank, which might be in range to get him. Hmm. Yeah. No. I was I was off. Hmm. Here. Uh, you can get that guy, I right? I get this guy, yeah. Hi. Uh land speeders. Let's see, can we get here? You're not gonna get here that turn. Let's just uh, take out this uh these guys. Uh this doesn't necessarily seem like a game that you're sort of starting and uh, restarting again and again, but is there ever a time when you spawn into a world and are like, oh man, this is sort of just like a shitty place to spawn? Like, uh, oh, there are too many rivers, or oh, it's like all... a bad, bad initial drop. Yeah, I, yeah, I exactly. guess you could. I haven't played enough to hit that. Okay. I, I'm sure the percentage on that is manipulated right. in the engine. It also seems like you can adjust that stuff. Definitely, if you want to avoid that, you can probably right. go into the settings to avoid it. Uh, these are Devastator Marines. They are fucking rad. Uh, they once they set up if they don't move for a turn they do extra damage and they're really good against vehicles i kind of want to shoot this guy but i should try and kill this guy he's just not gonna do that much damage let's go after this guy they're gonna move so they won't do as much damage um that's their base whoa yeah can you sucks. take over their city or just destroy uh you destroy it, it. oh Okay. There is there is no colonization here. It's all raising. It is, it is really just destroy. Yeah. Uh, here's my uh, hero unit. Um, I'm sorry. I'm just looking down to see who else I have here. Uh, let's take my captain and my captain. My captain. Yeah, I'm gonna put on a special ability with the sword and just take a slice of this guy. Yoink. Uh huh. They get nicknames when they get uh, high enough levels. 
I will say that, like, it, it makes sense considering the balance here is toward militarism, but it's just fascinating to see how strong all these damn units are. Because, like, in a traditional, like, Civ-type game, like, most units aren't going to survive more than a couple of turns getting shot at. So the Space Marines, um, I'll load, I can load up the Necrons later. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually might have a battle with them. They are kind of the weaker, bigger, more numbers, but weaker right. units kind of thing. But I'm just saying, like, even some of the guys here that you've been, like, working their way down, like, it seems like it's going to take a few turns before yes. you really get a good shot on them. Uh, yeah, some of them go down pretty quickly depending on what hits them. There's a lot of rock, paper, scissors. Uh, these guys are hanging out here. It's a damn floating triangle. Uh, yeah, I can, so I can take this over for a bonus. I'm gonna actually do oh, that Oh, cool. Now. It's like from the cutscene. Yeah. Whoop. That's mine now. Um, how much strategizing do you do as far as like, let me make sure these two characters work together or like, let me make this dude move this guy into a different position so uh, I can use a lot. the other person. Okay. That's it, it's kind of a lot of that, uh, especially I think once you realize what the rock, paper, scissor system is uh -huh. of, oh, okay. I want to, I want to get my devastator units within siege range, but I need to clear out this other area first. So I'm going to bring in a different unit, the land speeders to clear out the infantry. Gotcha. So it's a decent amount. So two questions. Yeah. Everything on this blue on the map there is something that you have control over, right? Whether yes. it be a unit or mm -hmm. a, a resource or something that yes. you have control over. Okay. How much of the map have you actually opened up here? Because it uh, feels like there's a lot of blue and not much else. Yeah, a lot. Okay. This is kind of getting near the end of it. I think in 30 turns, I have won the game. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to clear that I'm gonna end the turn. I'll, I'll load up that. Is it just that they didn't expand fast enough? Uh, you know, this was the starting. I just hit the kind of, hey, take me through it. So maybe right. it was the smaller ma or medium map. Uh, you know, 160 turns is nothing. It, But for a, for a game like, let's say like Civ, the yeah. average game of like Civ 6 probably yes. goes on for closer to like 300, 350 turns. Yeah. Uh, you can make the map bigger. Obviously, you can right. make the, the game go uh, slower if you want. Uh, I'm going to load up uh, just a little bit here again to jump further in. Here's the end game of this. To 168. 168. And I think this is when I've got everybody on their heels. I probably have destroyed the Space Marines. The Skull King around anywhere? Uh, he's hiding. So, yeah, because he knows. Uh, yeah, I had to set up some units here uh, to watch out for them. You can see even at the end game here, and this probably goes to what you were talking about in terms of the length. Oops. Uh, how do I get into my research tree? Is that up here? Quest research. Uh, even at the, where I am at the end of this game, I have not made it all the way to the research tree. Right. So you, I think it expects you to have longer games. Right. Why is that one red? Uh, that's what I'm researching now. Oh, gotcha. Uh, so, uh, I do have a lot of different units for people who like Warhammer. Uh, you can get your tactical Marines, your assault, Mar or sorry, Devastator, which you talked about those big guys with the mm -hmm. last guns, the, the, Big laser cannons. The assault marines, which have jet packs and chainsaw swords, are very good. This thing, which is a thunderfire cannon, which is great for infantry, uh, and then some medics. Uh, you get these motor motorcycles, pre uh, predator tanks, dreadnoughts, which are pretty cool, just go in there and tear people up. Uh, vindicators, which are just basically big bulldozers with guns on them, uh, and the land speeders. And then for your special units, you get your chaplain, your captain, and your librarian. Uh, and I have not, those aren't all the units, I don't know if you saw in the research tree, I was building Terminators. I think there are Necrons on here. Yeah, see this little dinky guy here? Yeah. Uh, Necrons are kind of tough. If you don't wipe them all out in one go, they kind of just repop pretty quickly, but. Hmm, didn't get him. I mean, uh, he seems like he's pretty strong. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what else we got going on. So like I said, this is kind of near the end here. That's that infantry gun. Yep. That really that does. got him. Yeah, that tears him down. Usually they're in bigger groups. Uh, there's my dreadnought. So here I'm attacking this. Uh, is that the last base? Yeah, I think that is the last. I took out those guys. That yeah, were the here. yellow base is gone. So you can see I had I do have some more things here that I could do to win. I think by this milestone, mm -hmm. which is uh, bring these assault marines and these tactical space marines to this Necron portal. Mm -hmm. All right, just fucking blow this up. What if you just blew it up? Let's do it. These devastated marines are dope. Would you call them devastating? They're <laughs> devastating. <laughs> Blah! And that's that's, Whoa, that's it. That's me winning. Sweet. And then I was like, when I was prepping this for Quick Look, I was like, okay, let's go to the next story beat. Yeah. Uh, but that's the game. That's it. Oh. Right. <laughs> yeah. Good so, work. 
I was kind of like, oh, okay. that I get it. You just put me in kind of a, the game. Right. That's what it is. So you can see the chart. I love the charts in these games. You can see kind of where things went uh, really shitty for everybody. Uh, you can see these guys were doing great. And then I fucking destroyed them. <laughs> Uh, I was to say, your build is actually very steady. Like, there are no real peaks good. and valleys yeah. there. Uh, I, I guess I did okay. Uh, you can see, wipe them out pretty early. Wipe them out. It looks like you actually <laughs> did it. Yeah, the military building. Nice. Uh, listen, I'm a space marine. Uh, the research is where I thought I would have boned it all up. And you can see I was I was kind of at the bottom here. Uh, but I, I picked it up. You eventually I got outpaced there. the I green stalled, guys. stalled out here for a bit. Yeah. I mean, look, a, a, the red team had way superior technology, yeah. and you still just completely yeah. creamed them. Left them out. So you can keep going if you want. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of like Siv, I think. Yeah, the one that. more turn. Yeah. Uh, uh, but let's go out to the main menu here, and I'll just load up the Necrons. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry if you said this already, but how long uh, does it take to, like, get to that win condition? Like, how, about how long was that playthrough? So that was probably about seven hours six oh, or okay seven hours. so pretty I, was, decent yeah there was a lot of learning on my part sure this was the first seven time hours. that was a slow playthrough but still you are but a baby child oh, sorry, are, with uh, your seven hour <laughs> it, 4x playthrough uh it loaded into sorry it loaded into um not my necron let's try this seems like the loads are pretty quick they're not bad the whole game moves pretty quick that's good Look at that sandy, sandy little village, okay, no, beachside town. It took over all my, um, nope. sorry, all my uh, auto saves when I did that new game. Uh, so I'm just gonna back out. I'll just start a Necron thing quickly, or or a different. I'll actually just do a different um, race altogether, just so so you can see they do play very differently. Okay. Uh, let's go with the orcs. Orcs are fun. Tell me of the orcs. Uh, I'm gonna let the game tell you about the orcs. Space Gotham. Good that we get the logos each time. <laughs> yeah, it's very cinematic. Yeah. Stupid humans. Uh huh. Building all these big things. Why are they always cockney? Why? That's the orcs. Also, the they subtitles, the spelling is. <laughs> yep. Special. <laughs> but then, neither did we. Maybe your steering went so good. <laughs> <laughs> and at least we got a good fight out of them. Even when the teen boys turned up, the boys was happy. <laughs> or the <Stop> boys. <laughs> fighting. But whatever that thing in the sky is, it don't scare an orc. We's not trapped here. The best part they is that this could easily be read, read in like a Long no! Island accent and it works just as well. <laughs> I, don't know, I just want that guy to clear his throat. I <laughs> know, right? Just drink a glass of water, dude. <clears throat> hey, I'm warhammering over <laughs> here. The boys, me and the boys, we're going out of here. Hey. Even though I rock Z boys. <laughs> uh, so I haven't played the orcs yet. Let's figure out exactly what's going on here. Uh, we got some max, got some of these guys. We got four starting units. Yeah, I don't have a. Do they have a gun and a sword? Sure. It's cool. Warhammer, Abby. Everything's guns Every, and swords. Everything's got <laughs> guns for hands and swords for feet. Uh, well, that, well, that and boot cut well. pants. I, I don't. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to build a base for them. Maybe they don't have bases. Yeah, maybe they're it's, just wild and free. Yeah, they could be. Well, you've got to figure out a way to build more orc units. Maybe they. Oh, they're in the wire. <laughs> oh, Oops, no. sorry, bud. Sorry, bud. That's my fault. Oh, that's. Why good. would you do that? It was the first turn. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if I could just put everybody on there, I would just lose the game. <laughs> uh, let's let's go a little bit further, just because I'm curious to see what happens. I wonder if they reproduce. They drop their spore. Oh, oh there's a ew. found city. Okay. That's a weird way to <laughs> phrase that. Uh, let's go. Oh, I'm at the very top of the map. Crud. Let's go. See, this seems like a bad spawning place. Yeah, this isn't. Well, maybe there's like good resources. I'm isolated. Nobody's going to come That's get my true. base. Let's go uh, found our base. Let's get me. Let's make sure we have enough room to expand. Uh, can we do it here still? Yeah. No we'll move there. Okay. Can you only found in certain spots? Only found if there are no other cities within four tile radius. Well, that seems like a really shitty spot to found a base because there's nowhere to expand. So I'm gonna move a little bit. Uh, move here. Move here. 
And then you can, uh, I'm not doing it, but you can queue these guys up for quite a few turns. Hmm. So they kind of waypoint their way around. And the turn. Space dogs. They don't like the orcs. Okay. Let's go get them. Mm-hmm. Okay, and they're queued up. So you'll execute your queued orders. More wire weed. Boy, I just, I, I'll tell you what. I have had a hard time seeing the wire weed. Uh, I don't know if it stands out more for you guys, but I always miss it until somebody groans and dies. I can kind of see it. Yeah, I mean, it just I could see it when I get in there and when yeah. somebody dies, I'm like, okay, it's just the contrast isn't super high for me. Uh, I do want to found this city pretty soon. Though. So let's just do that. Yeah, right in the wire weed. That's what orcs love. Good city. Uh, I mean, could you get rid of the wire weed if you were expanding out into those areas? No, if you can. You, oh, okay. You got the clear tile. Okay. Yeah, I guess you'd have to do that. Boy, zero influence. This is, Abby, this is not a good start. It's reset. Yeah, I think I would. Uh, anyway, they play very differently. It's not like, I, like mm -hmm. I feel like Civ generally they yes. play the same. You might get special you units get, depending right. on which Civ you're using, but like it, the general play style. I mean, you're basically just, am I going for this particular vic victory condition or this one? But the actual oh, like what they do is pretty much the yeah. same. Yeah, and the mechanics of building bases and the units are completely different. Yeah. Um, there's no overlap. In right. Units. So I, this to me, I, I like it a lot, actually. Uh, I, I could use a little more lore in there, mm -hmm. maybe a little more narrative. It's not really what it's going for. Uh, but it's, it is a throwback to, I feel like the old RTS games yeah. of Warhammer, just turn-based and hex-based. 4X is maybe a stretch. Yeah, but it's, it's definitely using elements from that genre to its own nefarious ends. Yeah, exactly. There are things in here that are taken, mm -hmm. uh, but it is not on the level of a sieve or right. even endless legend. And it's not trying to be. It's trying to yes. be a Warhammer game that just happens to use these kinds of mechanics. It is very stream, uh, streamlined. Yeah. And, and But in a fun way. Not in a way that I feel like, oh, I want to go send a emissary. <laughs> right. You know? This is uh, not a game of emissaries. There's also multiplayer. I did not play any of the multiplayer stuff yet, so I'm not sure, um, I'm not sure how it works out. I assume mm -hmm. it works out turn-based, then you fight a bunch of people. All right. Uh, but that's going to do it. Uh, this is Warhammer 40k Gla Gladius. Gladius Gladius Relics of War. One of the better Warhammer 40k games, I think, to have Did come out. you say out. Forhammer? Forhammer. Forhammer. Uh, you have Forhammers. Uh, Radius. Uh, relics, Forhammer, Relics, War. What a fucking... Too just, many words. Just start numbering them. This is number 382, Warhammer game. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the better ones, I think, to come out, especially if you're looking for working with armies. Um... It's cool, and I think the developer, hopefully they add more units and flesh it out. Uh, definitely scratch the itch I was looking for. Cool. Thanks, Vinny. Thank you, guys.